Santa Claus has superpowers, which mean that in a matter of hours, he can travel the world and deliver a toy to every girl and every boy. But a while ago, he felt less well. He found he'd lost his sense of smell. When Rudolph had the squids in the spring, Santa couldn't smell a thing. His writing got smaller, harder to read. He couldn't walk at considerable speed. And when he began to wobble and freeze, a doctor diagnosed Parkinson's disease. This shocked Santa through and through, but he knew straight away what he had to do. If he wanted to deliver a toy to every girl and every boy, he had to start that afternoon. Till his wife said, Santa, it's the middle of June. Please wait until Christmas Eve. You might be amazed at what you achieve. So Santa did as she suggested, and on his Christmas Eve, fully rested, he climbed aboard the golden sleigh and was very, very quickly away. At first all went wondrously well. Across the world he cast his spell, into whom he quietly crept and left a toy as children slept. And if he found a Santa tree, he'd quickly drink and quickly eat. So he was feeling very merry as he downed his hundredth sherry. By merry, of course, I mean elated. Santa was never intoxicated. But sadly, as the night went on, his Parkinson's made things go wrong. Because his writing was very small, he could barely read some words at all, which meant that often he was not able to read what he'd written on every label and so not every girl and every boy was being given the right toy. Then, as he was passing Dover, a customs official pulled him over. We've taken back control, said the officer on patrol. You're passing through a UK border, so I hope your paperwork's in order. I'll need to see what's in those sacks and check you've paid the right amount of tax. At that point, Santa began to wobble and sway. So he was asked if he'd been drinking that day. When he said how much he'd swallowed, as you can imagine, his arrest quickly followed. They took the reindeer. They impounded the sled. The contract for Christmas went to Amazon instead. But Christmas without Santa just wasn't the same. Millions continued to whisper his name. The only man loved in every nation adored by every generation. He gave the world a sense of wonder, and so the world now undertook to get Santa back by giving Parkinson's the sack. So every nation worked hell for leather. Even the French and the English worked together. And today we got the gift we've been longing for. We got the news, they found a cure. So I was grinning ear to ear when I told my love, I'm in the clear. And my love said, ah, my dear, that was just a dream, I fear. So my moment of exhilaration was thanks to a Parkinson's hallucination. And I, like others, must endure this thing for which there's still no cure. Unless that is, all of you can help to make our dream come true. Meanwhile, Santa, of course, is fine and dandy. Just don't leave him a sherry. He's moved on to Brandy. <laughs>